Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Box of Demons, welcome to the channel, welcome one and all, and welcome to Lumberjack's Dynasty, a title that's out on early access, and we've got a preview copy here in order to try out and see what we think. So this is completely fresh for me, I haven't even pressed new game, all I've done is gone into the options and set my resolution, so this is going to be as fresh for me as it is for you. So without further ado... Let's jump in and see what we can experience. Now, I used to love Farming Simulator, and part of that game was I always used to love the lumber. Just being out in the woods, and if you know me, you know I've got a couple of channels out there where I do hiking, and I really do love the great outdoors. So here we are in Pine Grove Valley, early July. Major changes in your life often come unexpected. Looks just like me. A week ago, my favorite Aunt Grace called me. As a boy, I used to spend a lot of time on her lumber farm. Now, of course, she and my Uncle Charles have grown old, and they're looking forward to a happy retirement. Welcome to Pine Grove. They decided to sell their dwindling business and need my help to bring it up to shape. I'm only too happy to help them. Besides, I'm beginning to realize how much I miss the peace and quiet of the mountains. The clean air, the stunning views, and the sweat of good old-fashioned hard work. I'll put my city life on hold, turn off my telephone, and return to the bosom of nature. At least for a while. He said bosom. <laughs> Idiot. Voice acting certainly better than Farmer's Dynasty. Good God, it was horrendous. Looks just like me. Beard. Coronavirus lockdown with the beard. Oh, he's the farm girl. Oh no, and that's going to be grandma in it. He chose your words too quickly. I was going to say I'll smack that ass. <laughs> Better not. <laughs> so here we are. We have got 1,250 euros, zero social points, and it's one minute past five. So let's head on over here and have a word Great with grandma. Great to see you. It's been years, but you've grown up so handsome. We've both missed you. It's nice to see you too. You look great as always, dear auntie. I'm looking forward to staying with you. Well, thank you. You'll have our old house all for yourself. We've moved to a smaller house right across the street. It's a lot easier to keep tidy. I see you want to sell most of your property. Yes, we're looking for a buyer for the house and the lumber mill. We haven't got the strength anymore, and with no one to help, the buildings are a bit run down. I'll be only too glad to help you with whatever you need me to do. You realize that, don't you? Oh, thank you. You're so kind. I'm indeed worried about your uncle. He's too old to be out working in the forest, doing all the heavy lifting himself. I can imagine. The forest has always been very close to his heart. So how about a little tour? Follow me. I will show you everything. I take it back, ladies and gentlemen. I take it back about the acting. It's terrible. Who are they getting to do this, you know, these voiceovers? Really fond of this place. Uh, if it's the I developer's mum and dad, I apologise, but it's horrendous. And the overacting of the hands moving around, it almost sounds computer-generated. Oh, way up. Hello? Candy Crush. Yes, darling? He just arrived. Oh, no. Do you need any help? I will ask him. Ask me. What is it? What is it? What is it, Grandma? Your uncle has a problem in the forest. Could you please get over there and see what's wrong? Yes, of course. Where can I find him? He's in clearing behind the sawmill. I am sure you'll find him right away. Take our old pickup. It's parked in front of the house. Will do. See you later. See you later, alligator grandma. Excuse me, love. Blimey. So, here we are on the farm. And graphically, it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely like Farmer's Dynasty, which is, if you weren't aware of that, it is the same developers as Farmer's Dynasty. So at some point, we have got no doubt we will be updating all the things in the farm, such as the roof, the well, uh, and the barns, etc. But for now, let's go get this pickup. It looks like we've got fuel as well in here. We'll just have a quick look at what we've got in here. We've got fuel. Looks like we've got some sort of diagnostic equipment here. So we're probably going to be fixing vehicles. Is that a, that's a compressor, I think. More toolboxes. Oil. That looks like a 
device for putting tires on and balancing. I wonder if we get to use some of those at some point. I don't know how in-depth the actual game is on, the, on uh, this title, because I am coming in completely blind. So, Grandma says we've got to go meet uh, Grandad out in the woods. Like, I don't think we've been here since we were a child, but how we know where that is, I've got no idea. But please, developers, get yourself a new actor. If you want me to do the voiceover for you, I will gladly do it for free. Right, here we go. Quest updated. Find your uncle. Press M for map and objectives. And as you can see, the map is... Well, it's big. And all these forests, at some point, we will be able to earn, own, and earn. And looks like there is different locations for crops and things as well. So, yeah, quite a big map. So let's check out. I, I can't quite turn. Look at me back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Appreciate that. Do you know what? This game would be brilliant in VR. It's the graphic style as well. Right then. I can't hear the engine running. We've got some soothing, relaxing earth music. Let's head up off road to see Grandad. Change camera with C. There we go. Look at the state of this clapped out thing, but I tell you what, lads, this thing. It's been running for the last 40 years. It's never let this farm down, so who am I to complain with my fancy ways in my lumberjack shirt? Nobody. Right then. Let's go see what's up with Grandad. Oh, he's got he's in a fancy tractor. Look at that. Grandad's got a bit of brass. They're not cheap, them, you know. Look at that. What a beauty. Right. Engine off. Hey, up, Grandad Pal, how you doing? Won't see you for a while. Hello, lad. Good to see you. Thanks. Nice to see you too, dear uncle. Aunt Grace told me you have a problem. Got stuck in the mud. I used to be better at handling accelerator. Can you help me? Sure, no problem. Cause I can't what do you want me to do? Get on the tractor and try to attach the trailer. Let's see if you can get it out of the water. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this point is, I'm just going to turn that music off, because I don't think we need the music. I'm sorry if you are the music developer, but just for now, for this video, um, I don't actually want it. So here we go. We're going to be getting in the tractor here. And let's just have a look at it before we jump in. It's nicely modelled, that, isn't it? No complaints whatsoever. It's got a little bit of a cartoony feel to it, and I'm getting some stutter as I'm moving the camera left and right. I don't know if you can see that. don't know what that's about, because V-Sync is off, because I'm using a G-Sync monitor. Well, let's just jump in here. And uh, what we might do as well is, while we're in here, so T is cruise control, V is to switch the gearbox settings. We'll come in here again, and the field of view. Let's just crank that up, because we are on widescreen. There we go. So, V. Not actually sure what that does. CVT. CVT times two. Cruise control. Change camera. Okay. And we have lights. So I, Now, what's frustrating me initially is, is that I can't look back, if that makes sense. It would be nice to be able to turn around and look out the back of that window, which means I have to go in the third person view. Let's just move this back. Keep going. Got to mess this up a little bit. Let's keep bringing her back. Back we go. And to hitch the... It is Q. Now, what would have been nice would have been that if we could actually get out and manually hitch it, if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, we've pulled that out absolutely no bother. I don't know why Grandad couldn't have done that, but anyway. Stop complaining, this is the beginning. It's kind of a tutorial for new players. Let's have a word with Pops. Hey, yeah, Pops, i you couldn't do that, man. You've had this farm 100 years. Well done. You have some skill, you know that. But this yeah. is just the beginning. Let's see if you remember how to handle a tree this time. Follow oh. me, lad. Tree hugging. Oh, I can see a chainsaw. I like his jacket. So here we have a chainsaw. Look at that. 
I don't know if we've got a crouch button. It doesn't look like it. So there is the chainsaw, and I think Pops is going to be teaching us. Oh, Jesus. A bit limp-wristed there, lad. You're a city boy. Right. Now pick up the chainsaw. Still remember what I taught you. Be careful. Yeah. Well, pointing it down towards me Todge with limp wrists, I don't think it's going to help. Uh, right mouse button is the engineer's sight. Drop logs into the water here. They will automatically be transported to the water, come to the mill, properly soaking on the way there. Right. So you want me to cut this tree down? Okay. So it says the we own it. We have 0 0.01 hectares. And this is a birch tree, and we have a total of three birch trees here. So let's come up to this with our limp wrist, and we'll cut this down. It looks, I'm actually moving the uh, symbol that's within that orange line as it moves across. I presume as we get into the bigger trees and the harder, harder deciduous woods, this will become more difficult. Timber! You really have grown up strong. You can to cut away the branches and cut the trunk into logs. Think you can load the logs onto the trailer? Bring uh, the vehicles here and give it a try. Okay, I'll give it a go. Cut away the branches and then cut the trunk into logs. Use engineer's sight to find the best places to cut. When done, load the logs onto the trailer. Now, I already know from Farming Simulator that is going to be a nightmare because I'm always fumbling with the bloody controls. Uh, right, so there's one here. Straight through. And the other one is, uh, what's this? Cut away branches and that is cut through the log. Let's cut away the branches. Was a little bit strange. Uh, what's this one? Cut, cut away branches. There we go. And I presume now we're going to have to cut this into sections. So we'll cut through here. That's one. And we'll cut through the second one with our limp wrists. We'll make a man of you yet, lad. And I think that is it. I'm not quite sure how we put the chainsaw down. Um, how do I put the chainsaw down? F. Not sure. Maybe it puts it down once we get in the... Uh... Now, I'm wondering... Do they want me to cut down all of these? Cut away the branches? Load the logs onto the trailer? Well, I presume they're going to want us to cut it, cut them all down. Let's cut this second one down as well. Timber! Go on, Bessie. She's down. And then we're going to cut the cut away the branches. She's a little weird. It's almost like I should be turning it, if you know what I mean. And it sounds like we've gone into a nighttime cycle because I've heard just heard an owl. Get these cut away, and we'll cut these down into sections. And then I'll try and get them. In fact, I don't know whether it's going to want me to cut the other one. But what we'll do is for this video. We'll try and get these logs onto the actual back of the trailer, because I'm wondering whether it wants me to cut that one down as well. It probably does. But for now, let's just see whether we can get these on here. I've got a feeling this is going to be a nightmare. Uh, oh, it's a two-seater, is it? Right. Unhitch trailer. Exit. I'm pressing the C key. Oh! Hey up, Gramps! we are putting some deodorant on, fella. Right. Let's get the lights on and let's see if we can position this without me driving off into the creek here. Oh god. And let's see if we can pick these. See if we can pick these up. I'm not feeling confident on this, lads. I, I'll be honest with you. This is the thing I hated and got most frustrated with when it came to farming simulator. So let's get the trailer here. I think we might be a little bit close to the ones on the left, but hey ho. Right, I'm breaking on. Let's get out. Right, so how do we enter? How do I actually use this thing? Uh, we've got to control it from the tractor. So, unhitch trailer, exit. Switch, manipulate crane, left the mouse button. 
Ah, oh, well, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. That is completely controlled by the uh, left mouse. That is... I've got no complaints with that at all. And I know it's, it's kind of cheating a little bit as it is helping us here. I'm wondering whether later on there may be some... Um, and we can actually drive as well. As we move this into position. Oops. Get myself all fuddled up here, lads. Wait. Hey, shouldn't we have our working lights on? There we go. So it wants us to grab three logs here with the tractor. And there's something just uh, really beautiful and enjoying about working out outdoors. I would, in a previous life, I would I'd like to have been a vet or work for the Forestry Commission or been a, a park warden out in the Dales. That would suit me down to the ground. Right, so there we go. We've got logs on the trailer. Take the logs to the riverbank. Take me to the river! Right. I imagine we're going to be dropping these off now into the water. Here we go. So we're going to get the trailer lined up here. A little bit closer, I think. That might make it a little bit easier. Drop the logs into the river. They will float to the lumber yard, sucking along the way. Okay. Now this is really quite easy. I don't know whether that's a little bit too easy. But if you knew how difficult it was in Farming Simulator to pick these up, this is an absolute breeze. And the game, for me, immediately, already, this is screaming out for co-op. Absolutely screaming out for it. So there we go, those are the three logs in there, and we shall leave that locked up. Drop logs into the water, I think it's because it's resting. Oh, we've got a slight bug there, I think. Let's just grab that again. And maybe we didn't do it far enough over. There we go. That should be in the water now. I think. Where's the log gone? Houston, we have a log problem. Right, well, I'll go back and grab another log. And, uh... Then I shall be right back with you. Big lump of timber in my hands. Don't you there, lads. Where's my chopper? Right, so I've got another log on the back of the trailer. Hopefully, this is going to allow us to chuck this into the water. And then we shall be continuing on our adventure here in Lumberjack. I was going to say Lumberjack Dynasty then. Uh, yeah, that is, isn't it? Yeah, this got it right. I'm thinking of Farmer's Dynasty. There we go. That should be it. I don't, just don't think we just dropped it into the green zone. Well done. Thank you, lad. Drive well, back to the farm and talk today. to Auntie. Let's just head home. No worries. Let's go, Gramps. Thanks again for helping me. You're you welcome. Just fine today. I know. Perhaps you'd like to help us with the farm and lumber mill some more, eh? Yeah, what sure. Think about settling down here. Life is good and quiet. I'm sure you'd like settling it. down. I've only just got here, lad. You don't have to answer right away. Just think about it while you're helping us here for a week or two. Oh, right. And then well, we'll see if you like living here. Right. That's how fit the farm girls are. No Dixie chicks. Might be persuaded to say, you know what I'm saying, Gramps? <laughs> you know Gramps. Grandma was a little cracker in her day. Ah, come on, admit it. Anyway. Let's keep on trucking. I like your John Lennon glasses. Awesome. Here we are, back at the farm. We'll park this in there. Then we'll have a cup of tea. Yorkshire tea. There we go, Gramps. I'll let you put it away, yeah. Quite an eventful first day. Yep, yeah, Granny. Hello, boys. Did you sort it out? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a refreshing experience. If you still feel like it, I will show you around the farm. Yeah, I would love to have a look around. Maybe tomorrow I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. sure, Grant. Let's have a look I around. I would love to have a look around. Hands up in the air. Overacting. Follow Aunt Gracie. So it's not my grandma, it's my auntie. Healthy food has always been important to us. 
Charlie planted these apple trees many, many years ago. They still bear lots of fruit. They do. You may be me auntie. Got a nice ass on you. That's disgusting. Right. I've always dreamed of putting up a hive here, but, well, I never did. It would be really good for the trees and the flowers. Uh huh. And I just love honey. I love honey as well, but I think we're on about a different type. Uh, yes, we'll get some bees, I think, at some point. Good condition. You can buy seeds in the store and you could grow vegetables really fast. Okay. This farm could become self reliant in no time. Yeah, I'd like to do now that. We'll grow some crops, your get some bees. Kingdom. You can refuel and wash every vehicle here. With a few improvements, you should even be able to carry out. It hurts me to see the buildings in this office. No, it's dilapidated, Gran. Uh, Auntie. You, are up to it, you might start doing something about it right away. There should be some tools in the workshop. Okay. So it needs fixing. It needs fixing up. So we've got ourselves a nail gun. Which I can't pick up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pick up nail gun. You picked up a nail gun. So now you, you can repair something. buildings. Good. Yeah. Now you can try it out. Okay. Do you think you can fix this wall? I've never done it before, Auntie, but I shall certainly give this a go. So here we go. Easy. Look at that. Look at that panel. You're a real natural, dear. Ah, well, there's not much to it. All I do is press the left mouse button. Now, but of course, it doesn't look too pretty, does it? I, I don't but think it looks very rustic. Planks in the sawmill. You can restore these walls to their former. Only fully ah. dry planks can be used for buildings. So if you're in a hurry, you'll have to buy some in the store. Okay. And you can repaint these too. I'm sure someone will teach you how to do that. Gramps will show me. I remember the old days when this barn was full of animals. If you can repair these walls in the roof, you'll be able to keep animals in here again. Okay. See if you can climb up and check out the roof. Then you can use scaffolding to carry out the necessary repairs. Okay, let's give this a little go. I don't want to do too much on episode one, but it's certainly very much akin to Farmer's Dynasty, so if you've played that game, you'll probably know what you're in for. So as we pick up the scaffolding here, we want to be having a look at the, at the roof. And it looks like we can actually put the scaffold in here. So the scaffolding is up. And we're going to have to put another section in there for health and safety reasons. And then we can walk up to the top. I think. I'm stuck. What's happening? Oh, there we go. And now we can get up onto the roof and we can repair it. And uh, this is the sort of game that you're going to want to just relax and enjoy and play this game. I remember repairing on Farmer's I'll Dynasty. Alright, give me a chance, Granny. Uh, Auntie. Um... On Farmer's Down is doing yet to fix the greenhouse. It took about 20 minutes of doing this, of walking around and actually fixing this. But once you've actually done it, it is quite enjoyable. And the fact now that they've added the fact that you can get logs and planks, um, should I say, you can get planks from the logs that you've actually uh, cut down and taken to the sawmill and things, adds that next level, I think. There's another little bit there, I've actually fallen off. We'll just fix this and we'll go see what Granny has to say. fix this little bit. It just becomes addictive after a while. When you see these little symbols and you see it getting fixed and eventually when you get a beautifully shiny new barn or a new uh, new warehouse or etc. It's just, it's hard to describe especially on the old one when you do these and it filled them up with hens um, you can then do hens eggs and things like that and have livestock uh, and we will eventually I'm, I've got no doubt we will get a grinder at some point as well which will grind off all the uh, the muck and dirt but we'll leave that for now as you can see this is all going to need repairing as well all this fencing oh it gets addictive fixing things but well, let's have a word with granny this house needs renovating too but it should be cozy enough for you as it is i'm sorry we can't offer you anything better but at least you'll have a bedroom a kitchen and a bathroom you can cook for yourself and relax in the evenings okay and if we right mouse button i keep forgetting about that you can see where the actual options are and the things that need fixing. Let's see what else Auntie Taita has us to say. So it's Charles and Diana. Charles and Grace, and you can see how much fuel. Know the neighbors. I'm sure they'll help you too. We have fishermen, herbalists, farmers, you name it. Peaceful okay. and friendly people. There's plenty of work in our lumber mill out there. Make sure to check it out as well. 
you should be able to get it going again. And who knows, maybe even make it profitable. And remember, whenever you need anything, you can always come to us. You can be sure I'll have some treat waiting for you. You know you must always eat well and get plenty of sleep to keep up your strength. Okay. See you soon, lad. See you later, uncle. See you later, auntie. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have that as the end of part one. As the moonlight shines on us over the farm. We have got a lot of work to do to fix this place up. And, um... The house that we're actually going to be living in, again, we're going to have to fix all this up and do this up, as that will open up more missions. And uh, there is actually a sleep cycle, and you do need to eat. But you can see, this is pretty damn plush. I would live in this right now. I would have no... Well, it's not like that's cutting something down. But I would have no qualms whatsoever in living in this straight away. But obviously, eventually, we will probably get marble floors in here, a little bit like House Flipper. Uh, we will be doing the uh, place up. Uh, but yes, I'm quite impressed. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of part one. I hope you've enjoyed this. I shall definitely be doing a part two. So thumbs up, subscribe, like and share, leave a comment. Show me a little bit of love if you want me to do some more. And we shall continue on our venture here in Lumberjack Dynasty. This is well plush. Even got to fix my bed. Might have action they've been doing up here. It's disgusting. See you in the next part. Bye bye.